What's up, Adobe people? My name is Tomptons, aka Tonkster, and I'm a director for all Maze Games TV. So, hello, people in Ace Games Academy. I'm waving right now, but you can't see that. Today, I'm gonna talk to you about the story of my life. Hell yeah. Or a part of my life, which is how I started with YouTube. In the background, we see some pet battle training, because, yeah, it's a good thing to have in the background, maybe. You can pay attention to that while listening to my smooth voice. <laughs> Alright. So, it was in the beginning of 2011 at the summer break. I was bored, what should I do? So I thought, you know what, let's be really original. Let's bring out something special. So I did a Modern Warfare 2 commentary. Um, yeah, I know, very original. My motivation when I actually got, before I pressed that recording button, was to not care about what other people said. Because if you do take offense in everything, in every single comment, you are going to cry in a corner. Because it's something called trolls. Now, if you don't know what trolls is, is well, I assume you do. It's people that want to piss you off. That want to make you feel bad. Even yourself, you're a little kid going into an alley. If you, do, if you show off that you're scared, it means that you care, in this case, on YouTube. Well, care about what other people say, basically. If you man up and just walk like a street walker, no, no, not, not a hooker, like a gangster, so to say, then there's no way this rapist, aka the troll, is gonna attack you. But if you show off that you're scared, you're probably gonna get raped, aka trolled. <laughs> I know, my examples are just... Awesome. Alright. So, it was beginning of 2011 at the summer break. I didn't know what to do, so I recorded this Modern Warfare 2 commentary. I sent it to a famous person called Tapes. He's Swedish as well as I am. So, the problem was that I, I linked it to his Facebook and said, Hey, check this out. Maybe this is something cool. You, How do you think about my commentary? Is it good? Do I have a future in commentaries? And uh, the thing is, on Facebook it shows off your, like, what if you linked something to a person. And that's what it did. So on my history it showed that Dennis Forsberg sent tapes like this video. And I was like, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. I did give a fuck. I did get a bit. I did give a fuck a bit. Because my friends saw this but that they you know after a while i thought you know what fuck them fuck everyone i don't care what anyone else says i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do and one year from there bam hello i'm i'm in ace games tv yoli i'm kidding <laughs> no but it's all being yourself and that's actually why i got accepted into ace games tv but before we go on there i just jumped around to six months ahead so let's start off a bit slow. After that, I got a bit panicky. I'm like, "Oh my god, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do?" So not giving a fuck was one of the things I did. After around four months or so, I did commentaries, pretty solid, uh, stable, stable for a few months, and everything happened so quickly. People wanted to do uh, du uh, duels, dual commentaries, and everything. And uh, people like, hey, can I make you an icon and everything? I'm like, whoa, really? It, I mean, everything is happening so fast. Oh my god, I'm the next Justin Bieber. Uh, that didn't happen. Um, but everything happened so fast, and I was like, oh my god, what am I gonna do? So I did what everyone would do in that situation. I cried. No, but. Uh, you know, I played it cool. I was like, yeah, sure, let's do a collab. That didn't actually happen until a few months because, I don't know, time and everything wasn't on our side. I was a bit busy with doing all these commentaries. Subscribers didn't come on daily. I didn't get subscribers daily. Um, but I had around, at one day, I got like six subscribers in one day. I'm like, oh my god. I was so happy. But... From time to time, it was really hard to bring out content, because you really want to bring out, like, when you play really good. 
in a Modern Warfare 2 or in a Call of Duty game. Maybe flawless. That will bring on a lot of use. The thing is, the content I had to bring out was farm, 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 farm. What I mean by that is I played games after games after games for straight hours, maybe five or six hours. I didn't even, even get a good game. At a certain point, I was like, hell to the no, this is, I don't enjoy this anymore. You know, oh my god, YouTubers, oh my god, oh, everything like that. Everything was so annoying. And if I didn't get on with a good gameplay at that certain day, maybe, people would ask, where was all the videos and everything? So having a schedule is good for one thing, but if you can't deliver it, it's really bad. So, what I did was, I did, uh, I did World of Warcraft. And the thing was, I did like a daily or a weekly show called Update for the Week. That went solidly for around six weeks. And then I had nothing like important or interesting to talk about. So I didn't do, I just quit that. And a few months later, or a few weeks later, I started, you know what, let's do, let's do like Amnesia on Mondays. Or Minecraft on Mondays. Uh, Amnesia on Wednesdays, and uh, on Fridays I'm gonna do a World of, War World of Warcraft video. So, obviously you had to have a lot of ideas to do this. At the beginning I did have that. But, at 2012, at the summer break, I thought, you know what, this is not going too well. Uh, my videos are just getting 10 to 20 views. And, uh, you know, it wasn't really fun. Uh, I didn't get an, any comments at all, maybe. So... I thought about, like, dramatically, uh, really change my my YouTube channel a lot. So I did a poll when I came back from my vacation, and said, "Hey, hello, people! I'm gonna do a poll here. Uh, what do you want to see more? Just Amnesia? No Amnesia? Just World of Warcraft? No World of Warcraft? Just Minecraft or a bit of Minecraft?" Most of my viewers uh, said World of Warcraft, so I thought, you know what, yeah, I, I, I agree with them, because World of Warcraft is the game I've been playing for six years, and I enjoy it, and I can bring out so much content from it. So I built my channel around my Shadow Priest, which is now Talkstore, and that is why I'm calling myself Talkstore. Otherwise, my name is Dennis Forsberg, and I live in... I'm not gonna say that. Alright. <laughs> So I built it around this character called Talkstore. So that's a Shadow Priest, and it's been going good since then. Um, during this like change, where I just uh, thought, you know, let's just do World of Warcraft, not nothing else. I've not bring out so many videos. Maybe one video a week, maybe or two videos a week. Um, but the views have just skyrocketed up. Yeah, I got a lot of more comments, um, you know, more likes from time to time. And why, what I've learned now is that if we bring out things that are fresh, just think of it like a newspaper uh, company. You know, you have to bring out the most recent news very quickly. If you do that, you will get a lot of views. A.K.A. a lot of people that buys this magazine, for example. So... For, let's say we are in the beta in Mr. Panaria. Something really awesome has happened and it's so fresh and so new. I'm the first one to bring out that video of that fresh new content. Do you think I will get a lot of views? Hell to the yes. I'm gonna get shitloads of views. The subscribers are just gonna go boom. It's gonna be, it's, it's, it's just gonna skyrocket up. And bringing these fresh content videos is one of the things actually gain a lot of subscribers. But the thing is, you have to, like, balance that and, you know, what do I really want to do with my channel? I want to enjoy what I do and not just bring out news like I was a news anchor, you know? Um, so, may f some subscribers will subscribe to you, not just because of that video, but you they find you because of that video, and then they may be look at your other videos and go, huh, this is a really cool dude, I'm gonna subscribe to him. And this is, this is what I'm calling this, the, 
the religious subscribers basically the, the, these are the people who watch every single video like the video I do I bring out and just watch every single video being really involved following me from time to time and there's then there's some people subscribers to just oh look a video from the Tomtons I haven't watched him for a while but let's watch you know and at the moment I'm bringing out shadow priest guides I'm, I'm, I'm like the best shadow priest out there I'm kidding uh, no but I'm I uh, I'm gonna say that I know what to do I know my shit to be honest so yeah that's what I'm doing right now but the most important thing is to have fun if you don't have fun it's not worth doing I know you hear this a lot so how to be a successful youtuber I don't know be yourself that's my only advice you could go on about you know bring out fresh content to get a lot of subscribers that's really good that's a really good advice trust me um, Bring out fresh things that people really want to get their hands on is really good. Giveaways, I guess. I haven't done any giveaway at all. And I have around 30, 331 subscribers. So yeah. Uh, and don't care about my, don't care about how many subscribers you got. It's only a number. I know it can be competitive from time to time. But it's only a number. And if you enjoy what you're doing, those subscribers, they're gonna come sooner or later. My name has been Toxer, aka the Tomptons, aka Dennis Forsberg. And I'll see you guys next time.